If you want to know how to use the ping command on Linux, then you've come to the right video. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meisen, and I make videos on technology, networking, and IT related stuff. In this video, we're going to be going over ping command and its various extensions using Linux. If you don't know what ping is, or you want a more in-depth video about what ping does, you can click the link up here and it will take you to one of my other videos which explains in some detail about what ping is used for. If you want to use ping on macOS, you can also click the link up here as well and that will take you to a video on macOS and using that. So now that we're at the computer, uh, if you're using Linux, you're going to click on the start menu and you're going to type in console and open up a CMD terminal console prompt. And once you're in here, you can start to do the basics. So the first thing that you should do when using ping is just use the basic command, which is simply just ping and then the address you want to go to. So in this case, 192.168.0.1. This is the address of my router. Hit enter and it will ping. As you can see, it's pinging here. It will ping until I tell it to stop. Control C to stop. As you can see here, we can see the size of the ping request. You can change this later if you want to. You can see where I tried to ping. The sequence is basically just a sequence of pings. Uh, I stopped it at seven, so it went from one to seven. Uh, and here you also have the time it took to receive the ping and send it. Uh, and at the bottom, you see the entire statistics for that pinging session. Seven packets transmitted, seven received, 0% packet loss, and how long it took in total. I can press Control, Shift, and K to reset the screen. Now, what you can do is you can also ping for a certain amount of times. So you could type in ping dash C, and then you can write 20, in this case, 192.168.0.1. If you press Enter now, this will ping the IP address you specify the amount of times you specify in this command. Dash C is the amount of times you want to use it for. So as we're doing here, one all the way through until we reach the 20. And now we've reached 20. We have 20 packets transmitted, 20 received, 0% packet loss. I'm going to press Control, Shift, and K again to reset the screen. Another good command for ping is to type in ping, then a dash, and then capital R, and then an address you want to ping. In this case, 168.0.1 hit enter. This will do the same thing. This will ping until you tell it to stop. But the interesting thing about this command is that it will tell you the route that it took to get from your machine to where you want to go and back again. As you can see here, we have this address we want to go to, which is my router. So it's not very far. 192.168.0.91, which is the IP address internally of my computer, to the router address, which is 0.1 and then back again, which is obviously 0 0.1, back to 91, which is my machine here. Now, if you were to type in ping and type in an address that you know probably doesn't exist, so in this case, I'm going to type in 192.168.0.200. Now, I know that this address doesn't exist on my local network, so I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to ping this address. So I'm going to cancel this, and you can see here, so what you get here is the destination host is unreachable, which means that either the, as we said in the previous video, the server is down or um, is turned off or just simply doesn't exist, can't find a way to reach it. Now, I know for a fact that there is no device on my network with this uh, IP address, so it doesn't exist. But as you can see here, seven packets were sent to this address. We received absolutely zero of them, plus a bunch of errors. 100% packet loss. If you type in ping dash h, what this will do is this will give you a list of the extensions and options you can use for the ping command. For most people, you're probably never going to need to know these. There are a few really good ones, and that is pretty much just using the c uh, dash c command, so you can just specify how many you want to, so you don't have to turn off the command on Linux or Mac. Uh, Windows will do a default of four, obviously. Another good option in this is the root command. Now, the dash r command, which is um, here, record root, which is an IPv4 option, is very specific because it only works on certain networks because often this command is turned off. 
and I'll show this now. If you were to type in ping dash r and then an address you want to go to, in this case we're going to type in Cloudflare's DNS 1.1.1.1. If you hit enter, as you can see here, nothing is going to happen here uh, because Cloudflare block this specific command on their network. So if you hit control and C, what you're going to get is 12 packets were transmitted, 0% received, 100% packet loss. This pretty much tells me that the firewall on their end is blocking this specific request. Because if we ping, if we ping 1.1.1.1 without any extensions, we get a response back from that server. Then I can cancel it. And then you can see five packets sent, five received, 0% packet loss. So just be aware that these uh, options on top of the commands sometimes can be blocked depending on the network. From an ethical hacking perspective, using the ping command is really important because it allows you to see whether something exists or not. As an example, if I type in ping 192.168.0.1, I know that this address exists. We're just going to hit enter for demonstration purposes. I can see this exists. This is now a valid target for ethical hacking for me to test my own network. If I were to type in ping 192.168.0.200 and hit ping, after a few seconds, it's going to say that this can't be reached. This would now tell me that this is not on. This is not possible for me to see this. And because I can't see this device, it's not a target uh, that I can even use or even consider. The server is off or there is no viable route between my device and it. So, so I could basically say if I'm going to test my own network, this address doesn't exist. So I can rule this address out. So obviously from a network testing perspective, from an ethical hacking perspective, you would scan the network in a kind of wider range, although that does bring up other question marks later, which I will go on further into the series. But generally uh, that kind of command uh, would flag of that activity is being suspicious but this way you could try to approach it individually if i were to type in ping 192.168.0.100 and get a response from that i have services on my network that use this address you know but if i went to 101 and 102 and went through and see which addresses were responding then i know that other people can also see that these addresses respond too Anyway, I'm going to press Control, Shift, and K to clear this. Um, so definitely run these commands uh, as a good idea. Take the ping command, ping your own router. That's a really good idea. Now for the final part of this video, I'm going to show you something. If we type in ping 192.168.0.1, this is the address of my router, and we hit Enter. I'm going to let this run for just for a few seconds. I'm going to hit Control and K to end this. Now, if you run this command, uh, since my connection between here and the router is stable, I send six packets, I receive six packets. This is 0% packet loss. If you were to send six and receive three, then you would have 50% packet loss. Now, if you want to know about packet loss and you want to know about the ping command in a little bit more detail, as mentioned earlier in the video, you can go up to the top of the video here and you can go over to a video where I explain this in a little bit more detail and what could be causing something like packet loss on only some of the pings, because obviously it doesn't make sense that you would only receive some and not receive others if the connection works or not. So this is where you can diagnose this problem. Now, what I want you all to do is I want you to go onto the console command and I want you to type in ping 192.168.0.1 if this is the address of your router and hit enter. Then I want you to press control C and what I want you to do is tell me any one of the times it takes to get from your computer to your router. Then I want you to type in ping google.com or .se, whichever one is your local and then do the same again. It'll be interesting to know how long it takes people to get from their computers to Google, uh, depending on which country you're in. As you can see here, mine says 7.2 milliseconds. It's pretty quick, I'm pretty okay with that. As always, thank you for watching. If you wanna see more videos from me, then do go over to my YouTube channel, which you're basically already on, but head over and press like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and here you can see all of the other videos that I produce on a wide range of technology topics. I hope you enjoyed this video, and always, this has been Robert Meissen, and I will see you in the next video.